Hey there, it's CJ Willie, and I'm cracking a pack. Today is pack number two of my Magic the Gathering Adventures in the Forgotten Realms Dungeons and Dragons bundle. The focus of the video is, what is your pick? As I crack the pack, I will discuss which card would be my pack one, pick one. I'll review the cards from a very casual Magic the Gathering player perspective. Grab pack two. Find the Path. This is a card that works out pretty well in Limited, especially if you want a Mana Ramp. Potion of Healing, an artifact that can trips and then later on gives you three life, I think is a little overcosted. Dragon's Fire, it's gonna deal three damage to any creature or Planeswalker, but if you have a dragon, it's gonna deal a little bit more damage. Bar the Gate, in Limited, this is a good spell. You're going to counter a creature or a Planeswalker, and you'll get an added bonus of venturing into a dungeon. Paladin Shield. Surprise flash-in artifact that gives you a boost on the defense side. Shambling Ghast. When it dies, you're either going to pop off a small creature or create a treasure token to give you some added mana later on. Vampire Spawn. Continues to play into the trope of black creatures entering the battlefield and you gain some life, your opponent loses some life. Showcase card of Dire Wolf Prowler. For a couple of mana, you can make it a 4 4. Overall, in green, 5 mana for a 4 4 is overcosted. Great Axe. This is another artifact equipment that's a trap. It appears to be cheap, but the 5 mana equip cost for plus four, plus zero. Nah, I'm out on this. Pixie Guide, this goes right into the blue, red, roll a d20 deck. You get an extra roll and you get to choose the better out of the two. First uncommon is Divine Smite. This is an odd card. You're gonna phase out one of your opponent's creatures and if it happens to be black, you get to exile it. In Limited, it's more of a sideboard. You wait till you see that your opponent is playing black. Battlecry Goblin. This is a signal in common to go red. Find as many goblins as you can and then all your goblins gain the power boost out of Battlecry Goblin's activated ability. Kalein Reclusive Painter. Signal post uncommon. Black and red produce a lot of treasures. When Colleen enters the battlefield it produces a treasure. Then if you're spending treasures as part of the mana cost to cast creatures They'll enter the battlefield with an additional plus one, plus one counter. Our rare is another class card. Two packs in a row, two classes. Fighter class. Recently, red and white have focused a lot on equipment. To begin with, you're able to grab an equipment out of your deck. Later on, you can reduce the cost of equipping your artifacts. And then the last ability, you can kind of control combat a little bit by choosing which creatures your opponent has and make them block. An island and Dungeon of the Mad Mage. And on the back side is a 1 1 red goblin creature token. My favorite card out of the pack is probably going to be Battlecry Goblin. I'm always hesitant to go multicolor right off the bat, and either of the multicolor cards make me feel like I could jump right into those colors. Whereas Battlecry Goblin can be pretty powerful in the right deck. If you draft it, pack one, pick one, then focus on red and goblin creatures, you can build yourself a pretty low to the ground aggressive deck. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, please subscribe and share. Take some time to tell me in the comment section what was your favorite card out of the pack. Until next time, when I'm back with pack number three from my Magic the Gathering Adventures in the Forgotten Realms Dungeons and Dragons bundle, and what is your pick?